that those things were part of imagination um, and they weren't real. Dead. But is there really any difference between what's real and what you make so, up? Imagination is the place from which all manifested reality comes. Everything. When that conception happens, immediately the imagination starts filling in the blanks. And it's how we tend to use our mind to produce the world that we see around us. And one of the ways that we're always connected is very simple. It's called imagination. And our traditional perspective of imagination, at least when I grew up, was that imagination is something that exists in your mind. And it's a place where you make believe and the things there are imagined. So if I say, imagine a unicorn, then you're imagining a unicorn and it's not real. Right. Um, if I say, imagine what you had for dinner yesterday and you can remember it, then you're remembering it. If I say, imagine what you would like to have for dinner tonight and you imagine it and you imagine it. Let's say you're working on something like um, you are writing a song and you've got some of the notes and you've got some of the words. And you know that you're going to finish this project and one day it's going to be out there. You even heard some of the melodies. Maybe you've sang it a little bit. There's stuff on the paper. You played some of the chords, all of that kind of thing. So this is something that's becoming and imagine it becoming everything in this room, everything that you can see, your clothing, the ceiling, even even your body at some point was an idea in the mind of someone else. It was in someone else's imagination. So even if it was sort of accidental, let's say you were accidentally conceived. When that conception happens, immediately the imagination starts filling in the blanks. Is it going to be a boy or a girl or a non-binary? Like what, um, what child am I going to have? What's the child's life going to be? How, is, how will the existence unfold, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So imagination is the place from which all manifested reality comes. Everything that you're seeing that we create is coming from the imagination. So all of the things that you could say are human created have come out of our imagination. Now we can talk about the natural world, the planet, the stars, that kind of stuff. Um, and the way that I like to look at this is how do you experience reality? You experience reality through your thoughts, through your feelings and through what I like to call sensations and sensations include your five senses. So what you see, smell, taste, touch, and hear, and then, um, sort of, uh, extensions of that, um, sense of touch are what I like to call sensations. So when you feel angry or when you feel sad or guilty, or you have an emotion, you're having a sensation. And usually you can locate that sensation in your body in some place. You have a nerve that runs from your brain all the way down the front of your body, right down here into the diaphragm area called the vagus nerve. And this nerve tends to be where we have the physical manifestations of emotional energy. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Um, so you hear people say I could feel it in my gut anxiety. It also runs right through the heart area. So it's connected to these sort of sensorial centers in the body. Now, everything in life that you experience, what you're seeing with your eyes, what you're hearing with your ears, what you're feeling through your body is all coming through some sort of receptor. And it's a little impulse, let's call it an electrical impulse that goes along a nerve and then goes into your brain and then your brain interprets it. So let's say I see a red fire truck and it's actually light molecules going into my eye through the lens, hitting the retina, going on the optic nerve, going into my brain. My brain interprets it as an image, turns the image the right side up because my, the lens in my eye sees it upside down. And then I say, I'm seeing a red fire truck. 
for me to actually know if it's actually there, even if it hits me as I'm crossing the street, is all based on perception. And what is actually there and what I interpret that's there may be two very different things. And a sort of classic example of this in a little bit of a softer focus way is like how people remember events. So that, that's sort of one way of knowing how the brain sort of changes things. Or if there's, let's say you're in a court and they're talking about something that's happened and they'll have eyewitnesses. Usually eyewitnesses see very different things. So what is actually there and what we perceive is something that we really don't have a solid answer for. Like scientifically, we can say, yes, we understand these things if we are taking for granted that, that our interpretation of what we're seeing is actual, which works for the vast majority of, of what we deal with in our lives. Like, yes, it's bacteria, you should, take antibiotics mm -hmm. and therefore you get better. So it's not that these things don't serve us, but at the very basic level, they're interpretations. So you can say based on this premise that everything that you see is an interpretation. Everything that you experience is going through that facet of mind that interprets, which is the same facet of mind we know as, as imagination. Mm -hmm. So imagination is actually much more real, or I like to expand the definition of imagination. And if imagination is what allows us to create, then it also by definition is connected to divine source. So when you plug into imagination, you are plugging into your internet. And the sort of boundaries of these things, I like to say are not hard, but they are soft and osmosis and diffusion happens through them. So there is more of an ocean with the ideas of delineation. Um, and so when we're talking about angels and fairies, I go through this really long winded explanation <laughs> to get to the point that angels and fairies, by virtue of connecting to your imagination, by just dreaming up and thinking things is, is not absurd. It's actually quite concrete and it's how we tend to use our mind to produce the world that we see around us. Um, so now that you have that out of the way, you can kind of erase those little like, well, I just made it up. Yes, you did, but is there really any difference between what's real and what you make up? So that, that's a question for you to ponder, an existential question that people have asked forever and ever. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. You can do it. All right, until next time, have a beautiful blessed day.